Hello everybody. In this video clip, I want to show you two different ways how we can make up a solution. And making up a solution is one of the most important skills when we are working in a laboratory. So what we usually do in this case is we calculate the amount of grams of a substance and uh, weigh this in and then add water or whatever solvent and hopefully we end up with the right concentration and the right volume. So for this example we want to make up 100 milliliters of a 0.2 molar solution of glucose and uh, the molecular mass of glucose is 180 gram per mole. So the big question is how many grams do we need to weigh in? So the first method that I want to show you is back to basics is our first principles. But unfortunately, we have to take it in two steps. So the first step, let's call it A, the first step calculates how many moles do we actually have in this solution. So how many moles? How many moles do we need? And the second step is converting the moles, converting moles into grams because that is what we actually weigh in. We don't weigh in moles, we weigh in uh, grams. So for the first step we ask how many moles are in 100 milliliter of a 0.2 molar solution. And first of all we uh, recognize that 0.2 molar actually is the same as 0.2 mole per liter. But we need to be careful because we've got liter here and we've got 100 milliliter here. So I suggest we convert this and we write this as 100 times 10 to the minus 3. That's the milli. That's the 10 to the minus 3 liters. So we've converted that. Now, coming back to the problem, how many moles are in there? We can basically uh, say that one liter is the uh, equivalent of 0 0.2 mole. That's what we've got here. But we don't have one liter. We have 100 times 10 to the minus 3 liters. And we want to figure out how many moles we have in here. And we can write this as a, um, a rule of three. So we can write one liter divided by 100 times 10 to the minus three liter is the same as 0 0.2 mole divided by x mole. And we bring that to this side, we bring the fraction to that side, so we've got x mole equals 0 0.2 mole times 100 times 10 to the minus 3 liter divided by 1 liter. And when we calculate that, we get 0 0.02 moles. So we need 0 0.02 moles. Uh, and now we go to the second step. So in this second step, we convert the moles to gram. And again, we do it by first principles. Uh, we know that one mole is the equivalent of 180 grams. But we don't have one mole. We only have 0.02 mole. And that is the equivalent to x grams. And now we can write this again as the rule of three. So we can write one mole 
over 0 0.02 mole is the same as 180 grams over x grams. And we can rearrange this equation and solve for x. So we bring that to that side. We bring the fraction to the other side and we get x gram equals 180 grams times 0 0.02 mole divided by 1 mole. So the moles cancel out. And if we put that into the calculator, we get 3.6 grams. So that means we need to weigh in 3.6 grams in order to get 100 milliliter, 100 milliliter of uh, 0 0.2 molar solution. So that's the first method back to principles. It takes two steps. The second method, and that's the one that I prefer, that is the dimensional analysis. Here I uh, don't uh, have to do uh, lengthy steps. All I'm guided by is the different units uh, for my givens and what I've got here. So I can write the uh, molar as mole per liter, and I can convert the milliliter into 100 times 10 to the minus 3 liters. So I'm consistent with my units. And now I can start off asking, what is the unit that I'm looking for? The unit that I'm looking for is grams, because that is what I want to uh, weigh in. So do we have grams anyway? Yes, I've got grams here in the 180 grams per mole. And so I write this that the the unit of gram is on top of the fraction line, so I write 180 gram per mole. So that's a good starting point. I've got the grams in the right position. All I need to do is I need to get rid of this mole. So I need to multiply it with some of my uh, givens here so that the mole cancels out. Do I have moles anyway? Yes, I've got moles here. So I multiply that by 0 0.2 mole per liter. And I see that the mole cancels out. The gram is still in the right position. Now I've got the other problem that I've got liter here. And I need to find something how I can cancel out the liter. Do I have got liters anywhere else? Yes, I've got liters here. So I multiply that so that the liters cancel out and I've got 100 times 10 to the minus 3 liters and I see the liters cancel out. The only unit that is left is here the gram. So I can write this as 180 gram times 0 0.2 times 100 times 10 to the minus 3. And if I put that in a calculator or just uh, simply do that in my head, I get 3.6 gram. So what you see is that this dimensional analysis, I don't need to do it step by step. I can do it. Uh, it's, it's really straightforward how uh, this is done. And if you get used to it, you can do quite lengthy calculations with the first principle method, you would have to do different steps, but it's in a way it's logic. The dimensional analysis, you are just simply guided uh, by the units uh, that you, ha you have given. I prefer the dimensional analysis, but if you prefer the first principles analysis, that's absolutely fine with me.